X Portal Net version 1.5 installation guide. In this step, you are going to install XPortal Net service. Open your installation CD. In this installation CD, you will find all related files to install XPortal Net. Go to the XPortal Net folder. Open XPortal Net version 1.5 folder. Choose the right XPortal Net service based on your PC specs, 64-bit or 32-bit. Double-click or run the installer. Click Next to start install the service. Please read the license agreement carefully. If you agree with the agreement, tick I agree and Next to continue. Click Browse if you want to install in a different location or folder. Select everyone or just me to install the software. Click Next to start the installation. We recommend you to not change the location of database and log file. Click Close to Exit. You have successfully installed XPortal Net service. In this step, you are going to install XPortal Net server. In the same folder, open XPortal Net server folder. Double click or run the installer. Click next to start install the server. Please read the license agreement carefully. If you agree with the agreement, tick I agree and next to continue. Click browse if you want to install in a different location or folder. Select everyone or just me to install the software. Click next to start the installation. Click Close to Exit. You have successfully installed XPortal Net Server. In this step, you are going to install XPortal Net Client. In the same folder, open XPortal Net Client folder. Double click or run the installer. Click Next to start install the client. Please read the license agreement carefully. If you agree with the agreement, tick I agree and next to continue. Click browse if you want to install in a different location or folder. Select everyone or just me to install the software. Click next to start the installation. Click Close to Exit. You have successfully installed XPortal Net Client. In this step, we will run XPortal Net Service, Server, and Client. Before you can run the software, make sure the compatibility is set to run this program as an administrator. Run XPortal Net Service. You will see the service status is running, the database is not initialized yet and the USB dongle is detected. To view the service status, click the XPortal Net icon. You can start, stop, and restart the service. 
you can check the service info and change the MCI COM port. Run X Portal Net Server. X Portal COM Server window will be shown. The highlighted field must be filled. Make sure the server name is the same with SQL Server Name. To check your server name, run SQL Server Management Studio. Copy the server name in the SQL window. Paste the server name at xportal.com server window. Password is the same with the SQL Server password. Click Initialize Database to continue. You have successfully created the database. There are two default system user for the system. Please enter user ID and password. You have successfully logged into X Portal Net Server. To log in X Portal Net Client, run X Portal Net Client icon. There are two default system user for the system. Please enter user ID and password. You have successfully logged into X Portal Net client. You have completed X Portal Net installation guide. We would love to hear your feedback about this video. Let us know. At microengine.net slash support. You also may find us on Facebook, YouTube and Google+. Thanks for watching.